It was in 1959 that the name of the first owner of this chateau was found in the archives. There are a little more than 30 others who, each in their own time, have made various adjustments to the property over the years. The various owners have changed the construction. In 1903, the chateau was modernized and repaired. The facades were renovated, the windows replaced, the roofs repaired, sanitary and electrical systems installed, and bedrooms and living rooms renovated. The building has been abandoned since 1976, the year the last Chatelaine died. The municipality bought it with its outbuildings and its 12 hectares of parklands in 1984 for 450,000 francs. The chateau suffered a number of acts of vandalism and gradually fell into disrepair until the creation of the Association for the Protection of the Site in 1996. However, despite the efforts made by the volunteers, the construction site is pharaonic and the limited means of the municipality do not allow the restoration of the chateau, which continues to deteriorate. A whole part has collapsed. Since 1996, the many volunteers have helped to preserve the stables, the farmhouse, the orangery, the round dovecote and its sundial, the square dovecote, and all the outbuildings of the chateau. In 2018, the Chateau was one of the sites selected as a Lotto recipient. The winnings from this lottery are not enough to finance the entire restoration project. Five million euros are needed, including 1.5 million to ensure the sustainability of the structure. A public subscription was opened by the Heritage Foundation to raise funds.
To these sums, 150,000 euros are added that the municipality, the owner of the property, had earmarked for this in its budget. Once restored, it will be open to visits. Exhibition and reception rooms will be set up there.